Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about how to, uh, what are different ways to instantiate a class. So what I have here is I have a test class. In this I have a method called as show and I want to print this in show. So in order to, to call this show method we need to instantiate test, right? So one of the way is which we do, which we do normally which is create an object. So we, we directly instantiate it and we'll say obj dot we can simply say show right and now if you run this so that's your output it is in show so that's one way the second way is by creating a clone right so uh, if you know about clone so you can just have a have an object which is let's say obj you can create a new object of uh, of this test class as obj1 and then you can create this obj1 object with the help of this obj object provided your class supports clone or your, your, your class should implement a clonable interface. So if you don't know about clonable interface, you can search for a clonable uh, or what do you say, cloning, object cloning video on my channel. So that's second way. The third way is by using deserialization. So whenever you do deserialization, it will create a new instance. So if you know about deserialization, it's something like, uh, you know, uh, I have a video on that also. You can just search for serialization in Java in my channel, so you will get the idea of deserialization. So what are three ways? First way is this. Then we can use clone, we can use deserialization. In fact, if you know about the latest framework, which is Spring Framework, so in Sp Spring Framework, you have something called as dependency injection. So we have, uh, uh, dependency injection. So that's the uh, another way. Now, do we have any other way of uh, creating an object or instantiate uh, a class? So let let me go in this way. So there is a class in Java called as class. So there is a class itself called as class. Let me create this object of that class as C, and we'll say class dot. So there is a method called as for name. So this for name is a method, is a static method, belongs to a class class. So what we have to mention here is we just have to mention the uh, class name, a fully, uh, a fully qualified class name. So we'll say it's com.navin.test. So that's my class name with the package. Again, this, this method for name might throw an error of class not found. So we just have to throw the exception here. Okay, and then, uh, to just to create the instance, what we can do is we need the instance of test. So we'll say test t equal to. So in order to create the test object, we can simply use this uh, class C. So this class has a method called as new instance. So new instance is responsible to return you the object of test. But by default, this new instance, if you see the uh, if you see the property, it returns you the type of t. So if if you are going with uh, generic but by default it will return you something called as object type so what i need is test type so using type casting i will be getting this object and we can simply say t dot show so that's one of the way okay so whenever you say new instance it will create the object and now if you run this if i just go here so without without using a new keyword if i go here and run you can it will it will again print in show Cool. So that are the different ways of creating an object or to instantiate a class in Java. So I hope uh, you like this, like this video. So do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.